Hi guys, just doing my post-match reaction to the Scotland against Ireland game, the final match of the fourth round of the 2021 Six Nations. Final score, Scotland 24, Ireland 27. And I'm gutted, uh, but I think on balance of play, Ireland deserved that win. Um, can't have too many complaints, but I'm really disappointed with Scotland that we only seem to really turn it on when we were 24-10 down. And we can't keep doing that. I'm sick of the good losers tag. Like, we get back into it and then we get snatched away from us. I'm absolutely sick to death of that. I'm, I've had enough of it and I'm not going to make any excuses here at all. Um, just talk about the game. Scotland far too slow to come out the blocks early doors. Um, Ireland took advantage of that. Scotland didn't match Ireland physically early on. And our line-out was atrocious for pretty much the whole game. And also our ability under the high ball was atrocious pretty much the whole game. And Ireland took advantage of that where they could. Um, so in early doors, Ireland got a high kick up, went up to um, towards Keith Earls. It bounced up. Um, three players were about it, two Scots and Keith Earls. And then Robbie Henshaw ended up putting it down over the line. And Scotland uh, got ourselves in front later on when we actually did wake up. Um, Stuart Hogg, it was lucky the ball didn't touch his hand as it touched his head, his chest and his head. And if he if it had touched his hands, it would have been not counted as a try, but uh, it didn't. And then uh, Finn Russell ended up going over and scoring the try. And then, you know, but Ireland went 14-10 uh, ahead at half time, Just about deserved to, because again, poor line-out play, poor ability to keep the ball, and our discipline wasn't great either. Today, the second half, our di poor discipline again was very costly. And it ended up going with Ireland going twenty four ten up. Um, first through a truck through uh, Johnny Sexton kicking a penalty to make it seventeen ten, and then Ty Burns scoring after they went through the phases and put us under pressure. Um, and uh, Roman Poit basically almost went as as part of the contact uh, to actually see the ball being grounded. The camera didn't give a conclusive ball uh, view as to when it, whether it was grounded or not. But if Roman Poit went in and underneath and actually did see the ball, then it was a try. Fair play, play fair play to him. Pardon me. I'm not going to blame Roman Poit too much for this because there were things he missed that Ireland did. I thought there was at least three offsides Ireland committed that he missed, but most most of our penalties that we committed. Um, I think most of them he got right, so I can't really complain too much there. But again, really annoying that it was 24-10 and we had a makeshift team actually when it was 24-10 because Finn Russell went off injured. He wasn't looking good at all. And then, um, you know, later on we had uh, Scott Cummings going off injured after we'd taken Johnny Gray off. So we had to put Scott Steele on in the back row and um, move, I think it was Nick Hayden, we moved to the second row. Uh, so it was a bit all over the place and makeshift there. But we got two tries. The first one um, of the two tries came from Hugh Jones after we worked it wide brilliantly. And then Hugh Jones um, stepped back inside. James Lowe went too high with the tackle. And then um, he went. Uh, Hugh Jones took advantage and went in to score. And, and this is when we had Stuart Hogg at 10. Hogg converted. And then later on, after we were um, pounding at Ireland's line, we eventually did get a try through Hamish Watson. Went over and scored. Hogg converted to make it 24 all. And then... Later on, Ali Price's box kick charged down by Ryan Baird, who then uh, put pressure on Price, put the tackle in, and Ian Henderson went over to do the jackal, but Price was isolated and it was very difficult, and then we got penalised for it. was the correct penalty. But I don't know if we can blame Ali Price too much because at the end of the game, the protection probably should have been better for him uh, clearing the ball, or they should have gone back to the 10, one of the two, and... That didn't happen, and then he was left more or less on his own later, and then uh, then Ireland capitalised on it, and Johnny Sexton then kicked the winning penalty. Fair play to him. It was a good kick, but uh, yeah, overall, I'm uh, really disappointed, and as I was saying, I'm sick of the good losers tag with Scotland, and we deserve, we didn't really deserve to win on balance of play. We only really turned it on. We got 24-10 down, which is disappointing, because we, if we want to be taken as a serious team, we need to be turned on the whole game, like I mean, we might have moments of every team has moments where it like maybe doesn't go against, it goes against them, but you know the whole game needs to be switched on from start to finish, and we weren't that at all today. I don't think it just annoys me how we can play so well against England and then have that game like that today and uh, games like we did against Wales, but no, it's, uh, and yeah, that's all I can say really. Well done, Thailand. Just about deserved it. Um, really took advantage of uh, Scotland's terrible line out and our ability under the high ball was also really poor today. And I think that was the big. They were the biggest differences overall. You have to say so. 
Well done to Ireland. Uh, disappointed, but thank you for watching my video, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you later on.